Well, the bridge is broken here. Oh, is it? Ah, yes, it is. I'm in the bridge. I'm not going to be following. Although it looks like they... They did cross the bridge at some point. Well, hello gamers, I'm Bartuari and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. And yes, as you can see, things have happened. The Crazy Fox server is up and we're playing here on the server with uh, lots of the other crazy folks. And yeah, we have the usual suspects, of course. We have a scripter, we have Bowden, we have Tank, we have... Uh, I think we also have Bendeline. We have a few other people uh, joining us on this server. And as you can see, yeah, I restarted my character, create a new character, which looks pretty much the same as the one in single player. But uh, yeah, how should I tell that? Some, some things happened. So what we did yesterday, we got together with... The team with the group with the crew with the crazy folks and we started building we started collecting stuff we started building stuff and this is the result actually we moved to the spot near the broken bridge first of all we set up a little house here just a little one it was small to start with then i rebuilt my uh, shrine of mitra as you have seen it from uh, my single player episode so that one is back up again and we continued expanding this uh, little house here because more and more people were joining up and yes things happened so we have two levels nothing special yet we have plenty of bed rolls a few of these uh, wall signs too bad i can make any for myself and i decided to place my bed roll right here and build myself a little box where i can put some stuff uh for safe storage later on i still need to learn how to make a sign so i can label this really right and uh, yeah other things have happened too people have been building the armorer's bench people have been building the smithy or the furnace people have been building the carpenter's bench and people have been building this tannery of course i'm unable to do all that yet and why the main reason is because i don't have the necessary skill points to learn all that i'm now level nine i think yes level nine and if we have a look at uh, the recipes, so before I can actually learn all this, where is it? Here is the blacksmith. I need three additional points and at least level 10. I'm not there yet. The carpenter, same thing, three points and level 10. Not there yet. And there was another one, I think the tannery. The tannery, same thing, level 10 and three points. I don't, I don't, I'm not there yet. Not there. So what did I do uh, with regards to what we did in the single player? I did learn the armor bench, the armorer's bench. And uh, from here on, I will be able to make some armor in the armor bench. I've already learned the light chess piece, but I don't have enough points to learn all the rest. So let's have a look at the armor bench. I can show you easily. Here it is. And here I can now make uh, the wooden targe and the light chest piece light chest piece which needs hide and twine uh, i already gathered the necessary stuff and made myself one just like the wooden torch i have already built one for myself i built also a hunting bow flinted arrow heads the ankh thingy which i use to collect uh, stuff to put in here like this uh, what's it called again this lingering what was it lingering essence which you get from uh, from hitting humans with the ank so that's a thing oh i don't have a sword anymore so i will have to build one of those a sword oh i can't yet oh yes i can i do i can yes i stone twine uh, i collected some stuff already so there should be plenty of stone but uh, yeah, the server also has some uh, raised gathering rate, so getting materials is a little bit easier. And uh, since getting materials gets me XP, why not go ahead and gather the materials all over again? So, that should be it. What else do I need? I have the branches, I have the stone, I need 10 twine. Twine I can make, uh, I need more fiber. Let's go grab some more... Uh, 
some more plants, get some more fiber going. And as you can see, raised gather rate, gathering rates. Uh, yeah, things go a lot faster like this. There, I should have plenty of stuff to make twine. I make then twine. There we go. And the sword, I can craft one, which should be enough. Might take a while. And that's gonna be it for now. There, I have a sword. And I should have a shield. Yes, I have a shield. No, I, I probably already told you about the Ambrosia. Let me show you. The Ambrosia can be made in here. For that you need the, what's it, Lingering Essence. Lingering Essence you get uh, when hitting corpses, human corpses with the Mithrian Ankh. Gives you sometimes the essences. And once you have built that, you can produce the Ambrosia. And the Ambrosia is actually pretty nice to heal yourself. It's not really meant to fill your hunger all that much. It does fill your hunger hunger a little bit. But it's uh, especially useful when, when healing up. With that in mind, I have noticed that there is a, a little camp up there. I will try to get a little bit closer to check how many humans are there. Oh, three of them. That might be dangerous. Hmm. There is one. So let's try to sneak up on that one. Oh yeah, true, I have a bow too. Never tried the bow yet. Does it work? Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to try that. Oh no, there are plenty of them. Come on, hit it. Oh, they are encircling me. Come on. I can't really die to these. I thought the other one was coming too. Are they both dead? Are they? Yes, they are. Great. So now I can use one of those uh, Ambrosias to heal up. You see, regenerating and my, my health bubble at the top left corner is filling up again. So it's nice to get uh, to get some regen, regen in health. Now I can use this to hit these guys and get some essences. You see lingering essences and hide. Let's go check on the on the last guy up there. Uh, maybe kill him too. If he's alone, why not? I forgot to check the bodies through. Always check the bodies before destroying them. What? There. Six. Eat one Ambrosia to regen. Check the corpse. It has some stone, which is always nice. And now I can start hitting it with the Ankh to get lingering essences and human flesh and similar things. Now, what's this? Can I... I can't do anything in here. Sometimes there are boxes in the area too. So sometimes you can get additional loot from them. Not today. Okay, I guess it's time to head back maybe. Before they respawn, actually. Yeah, might be a good idea. Also, you have to keep in mind that you should be healing, uh, healing, repairing your stuff. So for now, this one is pretty broken. Repair it. This one is a little bit broken. Let's repair it too. This one, yeah, repair. Torch. There. Everything is repaired except my armor. Now, the armor, there is a little bug. You see, I repaired it. Durability is back at 25, but it doesn't show in game on the icon. So you simply remove it, put it in your backpack, put it back on, and it will display the repair status. Of course, if you remove it before repairing, 
works as well. There you go, first combat, first battle won. But I wonder what else we can do. We could try to go kill some other stuff. Maybe start exploring a little bit uh, further. I'm first going to drop off all the ens essences in here. That's a good idea. There, all the essences can go in there. Don't really need the human flesh, but I think later on we might be able to use that for something. Infestation of seal. Um, no idea what they are. I can't put it pick them up so I guess we will just have to leave them in there and uh, maybe they will become useful later on for upgrading something I have no idea we'll see we will see I think night will be falling soon so uh, maybe not a good idea to uh, venture out so I'm gonna be waiting until Day breaks again, and once it does, we can go adventure a little bit further. Well, looks like the sun is rising again, so I'm gonna try to adventure out a little bit. Maybe check out the area. No idea what I will be encountering, but I will make sure to keep you guys posted if I do find something special. But for the time being, off we go on exploration mode. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. I thought why not go explore and, and, and I reached the top of this broken bridge here where we have set up camp. And all of a sudden this ghostly horse appeared. What's this? Interact? Slave, know this as the road of refuge. As exiles, weary and harried. When we revealed ourselves, your people fell to their knees and worshipped us. In return, we fed and clothed you. But you came in untold numbers. We could not clothe you all, nor would we offer you of our water or our land. In time, this led to conflict, eventually to war. Though it caused us grief, we were forced to dominate you. Slaves to our whim, your treacherous species will never betray us again. Okay. Hmm. So we found one of those when we started the game as well. I think we found two of them already. So maybe they are story related? I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna check if there is something on the bridge, actually, you never know. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, they are gone again. Ah, there they are. Oh, they are fast. Well, the bridge is broken here. Is it? Ah, yes it is. I'm in the bridge. I'm not gonna be following. Although it looks like they... They did cross the bridge at some point. So I think one of the goals will be to head to the other side of the bridge. And maybe step into their footsteps. I have no idea. But this is... Pretty mysterious. Okay, I'm getting in thirsty. Uh, as you can see, the third icon at the top left is my thirst indicator, which is now at 20%, well, 10%. I will be pressing the number 7 slots uh, since I have my bag of water there. Ooh, it regenerated a little bit. 25%, I would guess. So that's good. I'm gonna be trying to explore a little bit no more. I'm kind of hoping to be able to find 
iron in the area, but I have no idea if that's a thing, because hitting the stones to get iron isn't really all that viable. So I'll uh, have a look around and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I have uh, found something special or worth worthy of thy interest, as I say. So I have ventured up this side of the mountain, but for now I haven't been able to find anything special, so I think I will be heading back down, maybe checking the rest of the mountain. Let me show you on the map. I'm now, yes, here. Our uh, little set settlement is up here. So maybe I'm gonna try to head just a little bit further. But I have to watch out because, uh, yeah, my thirst and food are, uh, are getting low from time to time. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look, look around and uh, I will bring you back when I have found something interesting. Back down at the beach, I think I've seen something which looks scary to me. It's a, it looks like a crocodile. And uh, yeah, I have no idea if I'm geared up to fight crocodiles yet. And I don't really want to figure out by heading too close. So I'm going to try to avoid it and uh, sneak past it. Uh, still haven't found anything special so far. Was kind of hoping to find uh, metal nodes. But for the time being, nothing special. I kept walking to the west. And yeah, I'm at the next set of bridges. There seems to be a big ruin up there. But what's even scary is that there is... Uh, there is like a rather big encampment up there. I don't really want to get too close because, yeah, I don't really want to draw their attention to me. But I am going to try to sneak just a little bit closer. So I can maybe check out what they are, how many they are. Oh, it's a big encampment, look. I see one, two, three people. Not sure if they are aggressive. And maybe I shouldn't go check that out. Uh, might be risky if I if I get too close. Uh, they will probably insta-kill me. Oh, can I get up here? Oh yes, I could. Maybe try to get on top. No. Won't happen. Um, oh, look, there is like a shaman. Yeah, shaman with a shield. Uh, he's chasing me, he's chasing me. Danger. How many of them are chasing me? One? He has a shield. Oh, I, oh, there is an, an archer too. Oh, John. I'm in trouble. Flank him, flank him, flank him. I got him. Where's the other one now? There is an archer shooting arrows at me. You see? Oh, I want to... Eat my potion. That first. And... Check the corpse. It's gone. Here it is. Take whatever he has. Take all. Yes. Grab the ankh. Oh, they are really shooting at me. I really need to get out of here. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from, but someone is shooting arrows at me. I don't really see anyone, so... No idea where it's coming from. No idea. Gonna grab something to eat as well. Um... I should probably be eating this shredded, shredded thingy. Yes. Oh, there he is. There he is. There is the archer. I'm gonna go kick him. Yeah, shoot the stupid guy. Oh, you hit me. You hit me, you fool. 
Come on. I, he is like trying to shoot me with <laughs> a bow and arrows. Can I kill them? Sometimes it's hard to see where the corpse went. And I would love to check all corpses because sometimes they might have something worthy. Or here it is. He's stuck in the rock. Hmm, nothing special. Okay, this means I might actually try to get a little bit closer again. Oh, this was scary, but funny at the same time. Oh crap, another one. Yeah, yeah come closer. Got him again. Regen. Check the corpse. Nothing special. Use Ankh to destroy him and get the essences. Yes, yes, of course. Essences. No, get my stuff back. Should start to be really careful because things might start to break soon. Oh, Jesus, this is like a whole village. Yes, it is a whole village. Oh, look at that up there. Amazing. This looks nice. But I'm pretty sure that getting a little bit closer will surely get me killed. Oh, here it is. Come on, kill it. Oh, look, there's another one. Ah, they don't have any armor on them. Mm. Yeah, I will have to go back. Is it nothing I can do with this, no? Ah, I don't really want to go any deeper than this. Because I'm pretty sure if I do, I will get killed. Oh, there is another one. What a fighter. Oh, they got me? Crap. What's that? Oh, stamina. I was out of stamina. Crap, I was killed by the Dafari fighter. Uh, not good. Well, luckily. Oh, I lost everything. You lose everything? Oh, crap. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Okay, well, I think uh, <laughs> I did my, my best at killing those guys. Uh... I was, I was pretty sure I wouldn't be making it, so uh, yeah, uh, I think this will be enough fun for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button, and if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And in the description, you will find links to the other crazy folks, the creative misfits, and also a link to my uh, Patreon page where you can support me as well. While you're at the YouTube page, feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I think I will be wrapping up today's episode right here. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye. Bye.